Today we're doing a dog toy review. We've got three different toys and we're gonna find out how long they last in the jaws of a powerful Malinois working dog. I went to the store today and bought these three toys with my own money. So this video is not sponsored, guaranteeing honest opinions. We're gonna talk about how much they like them, the price, how long they last. Let's get into it. We're gonna start off with Magnus and bring him out with the ready toy. The actual packaging says twist tug dog toy. It doesn't technically say that it's a chew toy on it, but there's no way I would feel comfortable playing tug with this particular toy. If I grab it, I could just see how easily, if you have a dog with a big mouth, how they could catch your fingers, even holding it on the sides. You have to have a dog with good targeting skills. I think I would trust mine, but I would have to have my fingers kind of really out of the way. So I don't see this ever being used as an actual tug toy. Um, and you know, we don't like to tug anyways because of the bite work that we do. Let's see how it stands up to just good old fashioned chewing. Ah, he's ready to chew. Moglin. 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 Yeah. Moglin. So far he's enjoying it. I have a feeling this one isn't going to last super long. We just gave it to him and the sounds it's making sound like soft rubber. I'm curious to see how long this one will last, but honestly, I gave, I give this one five minutes. I think this is going to be more of like he demolishes it in one session. Uh, what I see probably happening is a large chunk coming off of it. And then I just have to take it away from him because I'm going to be too worried that he will uh, swallow a piece. He is enjoying it. I will say dogs seem to enjoy toys that aren't as tough a little more. And so I guess if you have an unlimited budget, it would be best to you know, get toys that don't actually fit their chewing power, but that gets expensive really quick. And you can tell he is slobber boy. <laughs> That's how Moglin I do. This is part of my meditation. I will make sure that we have sessions like this at least once a day with each dog. And I just kind of sit here and watch them and their single mindedness. They don't care about anything else. This is the most important thing in the world. There are no cares, there are no worries. And I try to adopt that same mindset in the moment and just chill with my dog, get Zen with them and feel the flow of the chew. <laughs> I should say flow of the slobber. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh yeah, is that what you think? He's been working on it for about five minutes now. And let's see, he's like, um, sir, this is mine. Let's get a close up of this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Already a chunk has fallen out and look at what that looks like, how deep his teeth have cut into this. Definitely a two or three on the toughness scale. He enjoyed it a lot, but I would not buy this one again. This was $17. So about somewhat fairly priced for a dog toy like this, but yeah, the this toy is not being used as a tug toy. Like, I don't know. I mean, Maybe like, like maybe that kind of, but a dog who has a bigger mouth, I would start to really worry about my fingers if we did play tug, which we don't. But as far as that goes, when it comes to a chew toy, very low quality rubber. So this one gets a thumbs down for sure. All right, but we got to throw this one away. I know, Mom. I know, Bob. I know. Bob. I know. All right, come here. All right, there you go. Oh, for dang. I haven't bought one of these in years. They just don't historically last very long, but I figured she would really enjoy it. 
and wanted to see what a dang thought of a plush toy. I also, I hate squeaks. So that's another reason that I never buy these is I cannot stand toys that squeak. What you think, dang? Yeah, what you think? She doesn't even know. There you go, dang. <laughs> She's never had a squeaky toy before. Let's see what the thing thinks of her first ever plush toy. All right, why are you, of all, pl of all things, you wanna chew on the tag. There you go, at least chew on an ear. <laughs> Okay, it's just in the air. Sorry, girl. I thought she was chewing on the tag. I have to say that's definitely a minus for these toys is I'm having to worry about whether she's chewing on a tag. Like it had a couple tags that I took off, but I didn't realize it would actually have the extra tag, I guess, with washing instructions. All right, well, it took her all of what? 30 seconds, a minute, and now she's tearing it apart. So um, yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't buy these toys ever. I will give Thang credit. The one thing she does not normally do is consume the pieces of her toys if she uh, does tear them up. Cause you know, even a Kong or like a black Kong or a Gonut, something that's, you know, generally really the stronger ones on the market, um, they're still gonna tear them up. And so she is really good at just kind of pulling off a piece and letting it fall to the floor. But notice even now, I mean, she's picking a little bit with her front teeth, which I don't like, but the majority of the way she is opening this up is just with her molars. And so we're now getting about five, um, not even a couple minutes on this thing. So uh, whatever your brand is, I don't remember, but you suck. And I will not be buying one of these ever again. And I'm already at the point where I feel like I should probably take this away from her because she could possibly start eating like this, this stuffing and she is not amused. Up next is the Black Kong. It is one of the only toys that we use on a regular basis. If you don't let your dog nah, 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 pick with the front of their teeth, they will last for quite a while. I have noticed that if I give some of my dogs uh, a toy in their crate, they seem way more motivated to chew on it uh, than outside of the crate. So I never do that because the one time I was really busy, I needed Magnus to calm down and he was like stressing out and I gave him a Kong. He was a younger dog and it was one of these big black Kongs and I came back not even five minutes later and it was in 35 pieces. So uh, lesson learned there. Um, but I've noticed that, you know, having them on the outside, letting them carry them around, um, you know, as long as they're not picking them at their front teeth, they will last for you know, at least a few weeks, if not more. Uh, if a dog really, really, really gets into the chew session, you will start to see kind of slits that their teeth will cut into uh, the side, and then that's where you start have to think about throwing them away. The drawback to the, the Kongs is they are on the more expensive side, so, you know, uh, an extra large or an XXL Kong is gonna be 25 to 35 dollars, but, if you're gonna get a breed like this, you kind of have to just accept that that's part of you know the breed and part of having them, part of the cost associated with a Malinois is having toys that they can chew on without destroying in just a matter of minutes. One of the things that I've noticed about size is that all of my male dogs really enjoy the smaller Kongs. Like they just really get into it when I give them like the large, we don't ever do the medium, uh, but I think this is the XL and there's one that's bigger, the XXL. Uh, Alexandria, for some reason, she loves the big black Kongs. Um, that didn't, okay. But yeah, Alexandra really enjoys this one. Uh, you can already see some teeth marks on it, but the great thing about it is it's not disintegrating and she's not putting actual punctures into the rubber, um, just kind of like tooth indentations. The downside to having really powerful dogs or high drive dogs who love to chew is that you can only give them, I only give a couple different brands uh, and we just stick with those because anything else is going to 
just get torn up within minutes as we saw with the other toy. The good thing about having a really high drive dog who loves to chew is that you don't have to put anything in it for them to be enamored, for them to just love it. I can give her a rubber toy like this that doesn't have anything inside, uh, isn't scented or anything like that, and she will chew for quite a while. Um, the champion of chewing, Magnus, I have had him chew a toy for over 90 minutes straight is kind of his record. And at that point I was just like, dude, I gotta let another dog out. Like we gotta do something else. And he was still going at it. It definitely has some good sides and the bad sides. What is your opinion on the state of the world right now, thing? Oh yeah? Okay, that makes sense. Are you Thang? Watch out, watch out. That's because she's Thang. Ooh, ooh. Thang is not amused. Oh, yeah. There once was a little girl, her name was only Thang Lang. How did she learn that she was only Thang Lang? Only Thang Lang. I think we can turn the cameras off. I think we got a shot with the Thang of Lang. Oh my goodness. How are we doing on the battery? Yeah, oh.